This is a time of abstinence, reflection, above all, a time of sincere penitence. Once upon a time, there was a town that had grown cold from tradition. Until a woman came along. Who the hell are you? We hear about the patisserie. We'd like to read it. And the apartment above. And found a way to warm it up. I heard she was some kind of radical. I heard she's an atheist. What's that? Don't know. Opening a chocolaterie just in time for Lent. Oh, yes, it does seem inappropriate. Chili pepper and hot chocolate. It'll give you a lift. Tastes like something I had when I was a girl. For your husband. Coconibs from Guatemala. To awaken the passions. You've obviously never met my husband. You've obviously never tried these. Of those bean thingies. How many do you want? How many have you got? I should probably warn you. You make friends with us and make enemies of others. Better promise. She's laughing at us. Laughing at our traditions. When are you going to do something about it? Why do you give a damn about what these narrow-minded villagers think? We can force them to understand that they are not welcome. Would you like to come in for some chocolates? What about boycott and morality then? What about? From the Academy Award-nominated director of the Cider House Rules. Up and round some time, get that squeak out your door. Comes a sinfully delicious comic fable. If I were 20 years younger, your virtue would be in danger. Academy Award winner, Juliet Binoche. Academy Award winner, Judy Dench. Alfred Molina. Academy Award nominee Lena Olin and Johnny Depp. Chocolat. This holiday season, one taste is all it takes.